Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is the part 14th of Python tutorial course using Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, we will show you how to display records from database into a drop down list control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous Python tutorial course. At the end of this video tutorial, you will get that Python playlist tutorials. So let's write the program in Python to bind the student name into a drop down list control using Jupyter Notebook. Let's create a new Python 3 notebook. Just give the title from the list. Rename. First, when we want to dealing with a particular database, we need to install that database packages. Let's install the package pip install mysql client let's run this client and here we got a message the requirement already satisfied and below that we got a small note you may need to restart the kernel to use updated packages let's restart the kernel restart so after I install my SQL client now let's write the coding part import my SQL DB notice the package my SQL DB is a case sensitive y is small and DB is small and then after I import my SQL DB then I'm declaring a variable to fetch my connection strings like host name username password and the database name so let's declare DB is equals to my SQL DB dot connect method the connect method takes format parameters is a local host which is a host name the second parameter is a username which is root and the third parameter is a password which I don't have to log into my PHP my admin database if you have any password please enter that one and the last parameter is a database name so let's fetch our database name the database name is new DB database so let's add that one new db and now now after we got the connection strings now I'm implementing the cursor method to execute the SQL queries uh, execute cursor is a variable db dot cursor method after the after that the next step execute cursor dot execute method and the execute method takes the SQL query here the SQL query is a select star from the table name the table name is student table let's add the student table here now let's declare another variable to fetch the records results is equals to execute cursor dot fetch all method so once we fetch the records from database from this table I want to bind that data into a drop down list control for that I am using the Jupyter widgets so let's import IPY mm, widgets as widgets now widgets dot drop down the drop down function takes the parameters of the drop down controls like options options is equals to 
here are the options we are getting from this results the data from SQL server and the second property I'm adding disabled is equals to false that's it let's execute this code run see here we got all the records of binder from this table into this drop down list control now my aim is I want to bind only the uh, particular column which is the student name so let's add ST name the column name is ST name let's run this code see here we got only the student names and here if you notice the student names are uh, surrounded with the single quotes and the brackets so to avoid those let's add the student email the next column name is the student email click run see now now we got only the student names are binded into this drop down list control and the same thing if you want to bind the radio buttons instead of drop down let's add the radio buttons click run see here we got radio buttons that's it